yeah, maybe bummed is a little overstating the situation, but I was really hoping to get back in the workshop today because I've just been showing tools for the past few days. Thanks for bearing with me. Uh, it's just the way the schedule's worked out, and this was another day of it. So I've got more tools to show today, but uh, hey, what if I didn't have any tools, right? I am super blessed to have tools to get to share and to get to use. So take a look at these antiques I got that I, I'm really, I thought I was just getting them just in case maybe they're worth a lot of money and I could sell them, but I'm kind of becoming attached to them. Let's see what they are. Generally speaking, I'm not too bad at researching things, but I just cannot get a definitive answer on the exact make and uh, model of these. This one has 400-10 inch on it, but I cannot find an exact match for both this handle and this head, uh, which, by the way... <laughs> If you loosen this screw right here because you think you're going to use a little lubricant and cleaner and get it kind of uh, spruced up a bit and you take that off a bunch of little ball bearings fall out <laughs> uh, thanks to a neodymium magnet I think I got them all and I got them all back in on the first try so it's a good thing I wasn't trying to video that or it probably never would have worked this one I thought maybe I had come across this says has a number 62 on it and it could be a Miller's Falls I don't know these names it's Stanley and Miller's Falls and Victor I think are three fairly big names on these could be a Miller's Falls thought for a second oh I may have one that's really collectible and rare because it's got these parallel jaws but this part that uh it does not match the one that the the expert was describing as rare this one cleaned up okay but again no no definite thing because i cannot find an exact match for this style handle the handles and the spinners are both in pretty good shape no major major gouges or nicks or cracks so they're nice examples and yeah in typical fashion just when i was thinking hey i'll just put these on ebay or something and see if i can get uh, some money out of them i instead started looking at <laughs> at auger bits to maybe buy some so yeah i gotta try to not do that maybe i could trade one of them for some some actual augers and that would that'd be fine because it'd be fun to try and see if I can make these work. Well, anyway, I know I wish I had something to show that I was building today, but I well, I got some overtime today instead at work, so we just have to go with that and remind myself that it's always a good day to acknowledge, not just feel, but to acknowledge that I am blessed and there's a lot to be grateful for. And uh, you're watching this as part of that. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, and hit the notification button if you subscribe so that uh, we can keep up with, with each other. And I'd love to hear from you. Is there an expert out there, you or somebody you know, who could tell me exactly what these are? Are they Stanleys? Are they Miller's Falls? Are they Victor's? Are they what in the world? Something else. Not that it matters all that much. They're just cool old tools, too. And... Probably still got some life in them. And because the Lord's blessing, I think I've still got some life in me too. And I hope that you have a lot that you can look back on today and be thankful for and that you have a lot to look forward to tomorrow. I know I do. And thank you.